What's up, ninjas? What is up? What is up on this? Kind of chilly, but it was a nice day earlier. Uh, this is the last yard of the day. Thirsty Thursday, of course. It's Thirsty Thursday. So we are at this property. I was here about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I think, give or take, by myself. And there were a heck of a lot more leaves than there are today. But there's still quite a bit of leaves, man. Quite a bit of leaves. There's Tat right there. Um, he is using the steel 800 and we finished that side of the property over there so we're working on this side pushing everything to the back but since we finished that other side and then I kind of told him I was like hey let's go back up front and you know push all this stuff to the back it makes no sense to clean up the whole backyard when we got to do all this and push it all the way to the back and we'll make a mess again um, so we stopped and we walked up here. So I figured, you know what, since I stopped for a minute, shut the blower off, let me go ahead and make a video for you ninjas and talk about a few things. So one thing I want to talk about is the Ferris FB3000. I want to just cover a few things. I've been sharing a lot on Instagram about it. Uh, those who follow me, SG underscore ninjas underscore official. Uh, I have shared a lot of stuff about that stand on blower but i want to also talk about this mariyama bl70 i've never owned a any kind of mariyama pieces of equipment this is the very first time i've ever tried um, big shout out to mariyama they did send this to me and um, i don't think it's their most powerful blower uh, but it does a really good job and so there's a few things i want to share with you about it one is if you're buying this blower for strictly leaf cleanups, like if you're trying to compare this to, and I am recording off my phone and just the 8550 or the 8010 or the 9010, 4800 that Tat's using. Well, it's not really a comparison because this blower is definitely not as powerful as those other blowers are, but it will do the job. And um, you know, it's a very nice blower and it's plenty of power. But if you're, if you're buying this blower for just your everyday mowing and, you know, you're blowing off the driveways and walkways uh, just from grass clippings, this is the perfect blower, which is one of the reasons why this whole season I've been using the 8550, even though that one is a little bit heavier than this one. The 8010s and the 9010s are excellent blowers. I actually don't know anything about the 9010. I mean, from what I've, I don't own one, I've never tried it, but from what I've heard, it's the same as 8010, except a little bit more powerful, I guess. Um, but that's all I know about it. I mean, I, I haven't even, I haven't even checked them out in person, honestly. I've just seen pictures of them, but anyway. Um, but this blower is perfect when it comes to weight. And so, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use, continue to use this blower, especially as we go into spring and summer. Now, this blower does have a couple of attachments, like this is a, one of them right here. There's another hose that's about the length of this one that you attach, and then you can put this on the very tip, <coughs> just the tip. And it looks a little funky when you do that, but I've been doing a lot of gutter cleaning jobs, and I actually, did put that attachment on there and I mean it makes a world of difference because you have you know long enough hose you don't have to get to the very you know you don't have to get very close to the gutters and so and it, it's got plenty of power to clean out any gutters so um, I really enjoy it I like it I'm not gonna start it or anything like I said I am recording off uh, off my phone here just figured I'll do a quick video for you ninjas but one cool thing that I noticed is most of these blowers, when you pull the cord, you're literally instantly turning the motor. But this one, it's got like, like a spring, I, I would say. I, I mean, I don't know, I didn't look inside, but when you pull it, it, it like winds in here and it builds up and then it releases it and then the motor tries to start, uh, which is very different. I'm not sure if all Mariyama equipment is like that or if it's just this BL70. Uh, I'm not sure if the trimmers are like that, but I think it would be safe to say that all the blowers are like that because this is pretty cool. I haven't really tried it. So I'll, I'll just pull it a little bit, give it a tug. So 
Hopefully you ninjas will get to see what I'm talking about. So you pull it. You can see that? See that? All right. That's really cool because you're not really fighting the motor, especially if it's like super cold in the morning. Um, so I think that's, that's really uh, smart and, and very nifty. So I really like that. Uh, I just uh, would love to try their absolute most powerful blower that's out there, which I'm not really sure what that is or you know what number it is, but, but this is a really good blower. So again, thank you for them to sending it out and uh, I will keep you posted. One thing we noticed, because we were doing a lot of leaves with this, we've been doing nothing but leaves, ninjas and gutter cleaning, it's been crazy. Uh, it's got a lot of these little open vents right here for, for the fan, I guess. And the leaves, for some reason, more than than the other brands, they just pile up all in here and they just close all these vents so we have to stop and clean it off. But that's about the only thing we've noticed so far. It's very comfortable and it's, it's just a overall good blower. I mean, this is gonna be my go-to, I think, when it comes to spring and summertime and when I am uh, just blowing off grass off the driveways and walkways. All right, another thing that I wanna mention before I get going here, cause I wanna join Tat and uh, get this done. Cause this is the last yard of the day. Uh, and we still got quite a bit. I gotta push all this down there and, and go through that gate and then push all of it in the back. But I wanna talk about this stand on blower for a minute. <coughs> this stand on blower is an absolute, absolute, money maker so i'll use this yard this is a perfect yard to use as an example when i was here two and a half weeks ago i there was a lot more leaves than today and i did it by myself like i said i shared a bunch of it on instagram um, so a lot of you ninjas who've seen those stories or follow me on there you'll know what i'm talking about and i did it all i think in about two two and a half hours give or take by myself and we've only been here about 40 minutes right now. And we, we're pretty much already done with the whole front. So, and we'd be uh, way much further ahead, but I stopped to, to talk to you about this. Anyway, when I, I've had this account for a while, okay? So back in the day, when I had two guys with me, I think it was two guys with me plus myself, and we only use backpack blowers and that's all I've ever used. That's all I've, you know, I, you just, I couldn't afford this thing. This, these things are not freaking cheap. And, uh, uh, it was not fun ninjas. So three of us, I think we were here a total of maybe four hours, maybe five. I mean, you have no idea how many leaves this yard gets. It gets a lot of leaves. Okay, so when when you're trying to invest in a piece of equipment, okay, and you're trying to figure out if, if it's worth it, will it save you some time? Because the whole point of us buying pieces of equipment is for what? To make it more efficient, productive, so we can make more money and be faster at our job so i went from solo to let's just say two hours uh, where i went from three guys four hours <laughs> all right to solo two hours but when you really look at it money wise four hours count each person including yourself so when i had two guys with me that was a total of four, eight, 12 hours, including myself on one yard. So uh, I went literally from 12 hours to two hours solo. Now that's how much this machine will save you. And that's just a small example on one yard like this one. This thing is an absolute amazing piece of equipment. And I will have me another one. I don't know, hopefully, maybe by next fall. I just, I'm always like that. I want to have two pieces of equipment of everything just in case something happens to one of them. Uh, it doesn't stop me. And uh, I can keep moving forward until it gets fixed. 
So that that is just, I don't know about you ninjas, but to me, that's worth every penny. Also, a lot of people have been asking me, don't give me that name. You know, do I charge? Because I used to charge a good amount of money to cover all four hours for all three of us, right? And that's just an example in this yard, but really for any yard, I would charge accordingly because I knew all we had at the time were backpack blowers. And so now that I've made my life a little easier with this, a lot easier, people have asked me, do I still charge the same amount of money for the leaf cleanups? You know, or do I go down in price because I have a piece of equipment now that, you know, has changed the game for me? And when the first person asked me that, I thought they were just being goofy and silly. I'm like, they, they can't be serious. Seriously? Like, that's, that's crazy <laughs> to me. Uh, but then when I had like four or five other people ask me over the course of a couple of weeks, I was like, okay, I, I think this is a legitimate question. And uh, I think this, I should share at least my input on this because this might help some of you. So whenever you are charging for a job and you're only working with minimum pieces of equipment, like, let's, like the backpack blowers, for just an example, with the leaf cleanups, uh, you charge accordingly because that you at that point you have walked the, at the property, walked around, you looked at it, and you figured out you know, how long this will take, whether you're solo or whether you have some help. Once you get to that point, financially that you can actually upgrade and buy something that will make your life easier and make those jobs faster. Should you change prices and go cheaper for customers? And the big answer is no, absolutely not. Ninjas. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If I, and I'm throwing just absolute Example of numbers here. If I charge a hundred dollars for this yard and then I invest in a machine that costs me ten thousand dollars, do you think it would actually make sense for me to start charging this yard fifty dollars? Well, what about the ten thousand that I've spent and invested? No, so you're not upgrading equipment, ninjas to make your customers' lives easier because you've already given them a price, they've already agreed, and you do the job. You're upgrading equipment to make your life easier. So why would you change the price? No freaking way. Absolutely not. You know, just because I went from four or five hours with two guys and when I was solo two and a half weeks ago on this property, for example, and with this machine, now I cut it down to two hours. <clears throat> that's my, that's my thing. Has nothing to do with the customer. The customer pays what you have originally quoted them. And that's just that. So whenever you're, the same goes for mowers and you know, you finally step it up from push mowing and you get yourself a zero turn or a stand on. Why would you change your prices on your yard from 50 to 40 or 40 to 30 or whatever, or 100 to 60? I mean, whatever. That makes no sense, ninjas. You don't do that because you just spent a lot of money and invested in that piece of equipment for your business. So that way it makes your life easier. Look, once you strike a deal with a client, they really don't care and then they agree to that price and they pay you, they really don't care if you're there six hours, four hours, or two hours. They just care that you complete the task because that's what they paid. Um, and I, I think whenever you are upgrading and getting better equipment, um, it looks better on you and your whole company as well if you are more efficient, you're in and out, and you're not all day, all day at that one property. I had a customer who hired me, I think this was like last year or maybe the year before. And she said, the only reason I got rid of the other guy and I hired you is he did an absolutely amazing job. So I, I was like, so why'd you part ways with him? And he said, and she said, Nick, <laughs> 
the guy was awesome. He did a great job, but he was here all freaking day. At least to her, it felt like that. And she's like, I just don't want to hear the sound of the mowers and the blowers all freaking day. So that's just another small little example. But anyway, I hope that an that answers some of the questions uh, that people have asked me. I hope that helps you. I don't. I personally don't change my prices, and I never will. Um, if I spend money to invest in my business, it's to make my life easier, so I can be more productive and get more jobs done faster. Uh, not to change prices for the customers. But anyway, this is absolutely an amazing machine. Um, if you're working your way to this, you know, just keep going. Don't quit, man, because this once you get to this and you were able to get something like this, it, it will change your life and make your job so much easier. Um, but, you know, we all started small. I did, too, and I worked my way up. And there's better, better stuff out there, I think. I know there's a scab <laughs> out there, but I think, yeah, and then there's a... I think there's a hurricane too. I'm not sure if the Ferris and the hurricane is the same. I think Ferris bought out hurricane. That's why they call it the FB 3000 hurricane. I'm not sure. Anyway, this has got the 37 um, Vanguard motor on there. So, but that, that's it. Ninjas. I just wanted to share that with you, uh, make this video and uh, I gotta go join Tat. Uh, possibly might have another guy starting next week. We got nothing but rain this upcoming weekend, so not sure if we're going to work any more, anything else until Monday. But yeah. Oh, one last thing. I've been using the SC Ninjas mower. I finally got my power chute design fixed last year. <laughs> I hit something and uh, it bent it. So I got that situated. And let's see if I can open it and show it. But I put the, oh, look at that. I got, I got something caught up in there. I'm gonna have to clear that out. But I put the gator blades on here. And when you close this power chute and you're using those gator blades, it is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It turns leaves into dust instantly. I love it. I have another one that I need to install for the ZK Bumblebee over here, the 52. Just haven't had time, but I got the whole setup, everything. I just need to drill two holes and get it installed. I already took off that rubber shoot, a rubber thingy that comes. It's always just in the way. I always fold them up anyway, but I finally took it off. So I'm making progress. So there's a hole there already, but you got to drill another one over here. So yeah, there's that. All right, 18 minutes. My goodness, I got to get going. It's getting dark. I got to help Tat. I hope you ninjas are doing good. Staying safe out here, slicing and dicing, making your money because that's all I'm doing. Man, we've been doing some leaf cleanups, gutter cleanings nonstop. I mean, it's just insane. I've got leaves coming out of my ears, man. I've, I've seen so many leaves in the last two weeks. Uh, this is crazy. It's just crazy. But the money is great. I love this time of the year. You can really profit well. And uh, when you get to the point of, you know, having something like this, you can really uh, speed up the process and make these jobs so much easier for you. And it does a really good job. It does a really good job. This whole front yard was nothing but covered in leaves. All right. I got to go. We'll see you in the next one. Just wanted to share that with you about this blower and that blower and yeah, Thirsty Thursday's a wrap. This is a, this is definitely our last one of the day. So take care. Have a good one. Peace.